Hi, and welcome to Electrocute, where we share some of our favorite wearable components and products with you. I'm Dia, SparkFun's textile specialist. And I'm Nick, creative technologist. And today, we're going to branch out of wearables to share the Electronic Circuit Scribe Conductive Ink Pen. The Circuit Scribe is a rollerball pen filled with a low-resistance silver conductive ink, which makes it really nice for writing on smooth surfaces. The Circuit Scribe Light Kit comes with two coin cell batteries, the Circuit Scribe Pen, and the Bi LED. The Bi LED is a really nice touch. You can change the polarity to swap between blue and red. Let's take a look at a basic circuit. You just draw the traces, with or without embellishments, place the components, and light your thing up. Pretty cool, right? This is a great way to illustrate circuits in a practical way that allows experimentation. Outside of the parts in the kit, conductive ink is compatible with a lot of other components as well. We thought we'd try using it with the lily pad parts because they're conveniently flat and have a nice conductive pad on the bottom. The circuit scribe system uses magnetic legs to hold the connections between the ink and the component, so we thought we'd give that a shot. We've got rare earth magnets holding our components down to the paper. Truth be told, we thought this was going to be a pretty easy project, but it was, and is, pretty tricky. Even with the magnets, we had a hard time keeping the LEDs lit, and going this distance, we had to put a lot of ink down to keep continuity. The paper didn't help. We recommend using a nice smooth surface. Instead, we used this parchment texture, which looked right for the project, but because of the fibrousness of the paper, it didn't really want to create a nice, smooth, conductive layer. All that said, this was a pretty fun product to play with and it works really well with the native components that come in the kits. We'd also like to see it used with circuit stickers. We're pretty hopeful about that. If you have any questions about a product or want to know why we didn't just use regular paper like normal humans, you can put those in the comments and we'll try to get to those either in the comments section or in the next video. After last week's video, YouTube user DeviantDigi had a question about the results of eating the thermochromatic pigment. Dee Dee, we definitely don't recommend eating the pigment. It's not designed to be food safe and it's like really fine, so it's gonna be a lot like the cinnamon challenge. But, hypothetically, if you did, we're pretty sure you're right on the money about what would happen. Thanks for watching.